Then Elazer, the son of Dodovah of Marispah, prophesied against Jehoshaphat. Whoa! Then Elijah prophesied against Jehoshaphat because he joined himself up with this wicked king of Jerusalem to build ships. Today, how many so-called preachers have we got today that's going to wind up splitting hell wide open? And Brother Price, you're getting pretty bold. How many preachers have we got today that are not telling you the truth? Have over 3,000 3, something, something different kinds of churches in the world. How many of them are telling you the truth? If they joined himself with this wicked person to build ships. Then Elijah, the son of Dodova of Mishpah prophesied against Jehoshaphat saying, because look, verse 37 in the middle of it, because thou hast joined thyself with Ahaziah, the Lord hath broken thy works. You joined yourself up with the wicked king, so the Lord has broken thy works. And the ships were broken that they built. And the ships were broken that they were not able to go to Tarshish. Lived a great life. Ruled over the land 25 years. And then joined himself up with a wicked king. And they were going to make a lot of money building these ships. And they wanted to go to Tarsus. And because of that wicked king, he was prophesied against. And the Lord broke up the ships. If you stay with the Lord, don't join yourself up with somebody that's not doing right. Don't join yourself up with somebody that's not doing it right. Because the Lord does not want that. The Lord wants unity in the church. If you're doing anything to cause disunity in the church, if anyone is doing anything to cause disunity, I want you to know that God is against that. That don't mean you can't disagree. It means doing something to cause a disunity. If somebody is doing something that in the church is supposed to be setting an example, if you please, and they claim to be in the church, and they're not setting a very good example. Don't follow that person. I worry, I worry a lot about this. There it is right there in the Bible. This Jehoshaphat joined himself up with somebody that just was not doing right. He was a wicked king. It says so. <coughs> if you're trying to pattern after somebody that is not doing right, and you know they're not doing right, don't end up like Jehoshaphat the Lord broke up everything he was doing right on the end. He broke up. He broke all them ships up into pieces. They couldn't, they couldn't use them. They couldn't go to Tarsus like they planned. 
because one person in the crowd was not doing right. Does this message mean, is anybody listening to what the Word of God says? Sometimes I worry that the Word of God is just falling on hollow ground or deaf ears. And everybody comes to church again doing the same old thing. Causing disunity. Disunity. And like I told you, I'm afraid that a lot of so-called preachers in this world, I don't think, I don't think you got any problems with preachers around here. Don't get me wrong. I don't think you got any problems with any of the elders. I don't think you've got any problems with any teachers. I don't believe that. You worried about a little crowd? Anybody here worried about a small crowd tonight? What do I got here? 11 people? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. We've got 12 people. The Bible says where two or three are gathered together in my name, there am I in the midst of them. Folks, you're not the only ones tonight that is going to listen to this message. There's 12 people. And I hope that all 12 have listened to the lesson. But you're not the only ones that's listening to this lesson. I want you to know that this can go on the internet and somebody can watch it in New York City. And if it's on the internet, I want you to know that anybody can watch it anywhere in the world It's on the internet. Your friend over in Korea can watch it. And it's not necessarily me. It may be Brother Jerry up here preaching. It may be Brother Moon up here teaching. But if it's the Word of God, it can be on the internet. If you don't believe me, go out here and get this website we got right out here on the building. Acts 2 U.S. Click on that. There's a little, a little arrow pointing to YouTube. Go right over to YouTube. And you're going to be looking right in here. Do you want your picture on the internet doing certain things you're not supposed to be doing? At first, I kind of kicked against being on the internet, and I told Brother Jerry, I said, I don't want to be on there. I said, Osama bin Laden over there might be looking at it, and he might come over here and decide to wipe me out. But then a little while later, sometime later, as a matter of fact, I asked Brother Jerry again, I said, have you had me on the internet? He says, yes, I have, because I want people to know what we got. And I decided right then that maybe he knows better than I did. I'm not going against my preacher. I'm not going to do it. I'm not going to go against... My elder, Brother Moon, I think is probably the only elder I got around here. I'm not going to go against him. I may disagree with him. We may, have, we may have to agree to disagree on one or two things, but I'm going to tell you something. There's not very many of them. I can tell you one that we disagreed on yesterday. 